Now an Eyewitness News exclusive in his first televised interview since losing the race for governor in 2010, former General Treasurer Frank Caprio is sitting down with us talking about his mistakes three years ago and announcing he's diving back into politics. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the interview you'll see only on 12. Frank Caprio was candid about those mistakes in 2010, looking to clear the air as he once again seeks the office of general treasurer. It was the comment that crystallized the 2010 race for governor. And he could take the endorsement and shove it. Then candidate and treasurer Frank Caprio didn't take too kindly to President Barack Obama's decision not to endorse any candidate for governor that year. Yeah, I look back on it, it was a very stupid thing to say. It, uh, it brought um, a lot of embarrassment on myself, my campaign. During a taping of this week's Newsmakers, Caprio says the comment wasn't calculated, but more of an emotional reaction to a race that was beginning to slip through his fingers. So my state of mind wasn't a good one. Mm -hmm. um, not to make excuses, I take full responsibility for the, for the campaign I ran. Um, and I got up that morning, I remember it was 5.30 in the morning, and I saw the stories, um, and I, I said something I, I just shouldn't have never said. Caprio is now looking for his old job back, entering the 2014 race for general treasurer, a spot now held by Gina Raimondo, who is widely expected to run for governor. Any advice for those running for governor in 2014? Well, first of all, in Rhode Island, there's no shortage of political consultants and, and experts. And I think that was uh, my greatest lesson last time. I was, I was I think, too focused on, fo on taking what the polling and the focus groups and the and the uh, speechwriters uh, were saying. Caprio, who has always run as a Democrat, says he's not sure yet which party he'll be affiliated with come campaign 2014. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.